aba katika jina la Yesu tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya neno lako ambalo umetuadalia wakati huu tunakushukuru kwa sababu hilo neno umeliandaa kupitia kwa mtumishi wako pastor David uh, wakati kama huu asadi kwa sababu ya kutumtumia kama chombo kwa ajili yetu katika jina la Yesu baba ninaomba ya kwamba utatunenea kila mmoja wetu binafsi na jia ambayo tutaelewa na utatuguza kulingana na hali ambazo tunapitia na uhusiano wetu na wewe katika jina la Yesu kuna maroho ya shetani anaachilia wakati neno la Mungu linapita maroho ya uchovu maroho ya ukusinzia maroho ya kuibwa ma, mawazo ku, uh, kuibwa na shetani tusiweze ku concentrate hiyo maroho yote na mengine ambayo inaadaliwa kwa sababu ya neno la Mungu I arrest all those spirits na damu ya Yesu na kupitia kwa moto wa Roho Mtakatifu nimeiharibu katika jina la Yesu Baba naomba Roho Mtakatifu akanene nasi na jia ambayo taelewa tunapokea neno la Mungu na tunapokea mtumishi wako katika jina la Baba na la Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu tumeomba na tumeamini Tupigie Bwana makofi wakati uh, my son Pastor David anakuja Amen Amen. Let us appreciate our dad. Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kanisa. Bwana asifiwe tena. Uh, nimeokoka na napenda Yesu kama mokozi katika maisha yangu. Na ameendelea kuwa mwaminifu. Kabla tukae chini ningependa tusome in the book of Romans chapter number 8 verse number 14. Warumi 8:14. Romans chapter number 8. Warumi 8 verse number 14. That's where we read. Amen. Haiwe. The Bible says give me the amplified please amplified For all who are allowing themselves to be led by the spirit of God are sons of God Kwa maana wale wanakubali kuongozwa na Roho Mtakatifu ni wana wa Mungu Mstari wa 15 15 For you have not received spirit of slavery leading again to fear of God's judgment but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons the kwa, spirit of producing sonship by which we joyfully cry abba father kwa kuwa hamkumpokea tena roho um, utumwa tena bali mlipokea roho wa kuufanya wana ambayo kwa hiyo tualia abba yani baba let's go to luke chapter number uh, i think 15 luka 15 from verse number 11 kutoka uh, 11 I want us to read some few scriptures there. Nataka tusome kidogo hapo. Luke 15 verse number 11. Luka 15 11. Then he said, Akasema, A certain man had two sons. Kuna mtu alikuwa na wana wawili. Verse number 12. 12. The younger of them in appropriately said to his father, Give me share of property that falls to me. So he divided the estate between them. Yule mtoto akamwambia baba yake nipe sehemu ya mali yangu akamgawia vitu vyake Verse number 13 13 A few days later the younger man gathered together everything that he had and traveled to a dist- uh, distant country and there he wasted his fortune reckless and immoral living uh, Hata baada ya siku nyingi yule mtoto akafanya vyote akasafiri kwenda nchi ya mbali akapatawanya mali zake huko kwa maisha ya usharati. Can we skip to verse number 17 because of time? 17 kwa sababu ya wakati. But when finally he came to his senses, can we read together? But when he finally came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired men have more than enough food why I am dying here of hunger? Verse number 18. I will get up and go to my father and i will say to him father i have sinned against heaven and in your sight verse number 19 i'm no longer worthy to be called your son just treat me like one of your hired men verse number 20 20 so he got up and came to his father but while he was still a long way off his father saw him and was moved with compassion for him and ran 
and embraced him and kissed him and may the lord bless his word we may be seated um very very honored to be standing before you once again and even because of the opportunity uh, to be speaking again here i don't take it for granted I take it as an honor. Uh, and uh, I want us to continue from where we stopped last week. And from where we have read in the book of Romans, uh, or rather I will begin by saying that on Sunday we agreed that we need to be sons in the kingdom we agreed sonship is not about gender because in the book of John chapter number 1 verse number 12 uh, the Bible says that as many as believed as many as believed were given power to become sons. So if you believed you are a son in the kingdom. So we agreed that we need to serve first. Uh, if you have to serve first we have to be sons. And we said it is an error for you to be in service of God when you are not a son in the kingdom or you lost your sonship and that's why Paul in, Ro uh, in Romans 1 1 he calls himself a slave but in chapter number 8 verse number 14 he says it is not enough to be a slave of Jesus Christ you need to be adopted to become a son and the spirit that we have received the Bible says it is not a spirit of slavery it is the spirit of adoption into sonship and the Bible says, by that spirit, we are able to cry, Abba, Father. Now the word Abba, it is not just a daddy. It means a source where you have come from. So you know where you are coming from when you call your father. Praise the Lord. And there are, few, uh, there are few things that we talk about. And we say this. That sonship is about relationship. Servanthood is about getting the work done. Na tuka kubaliana ya kwamba. We are not here to do the work of God. When we are not sons. Na sisi si wana. We become sons wana, then we serve God na and mungu we agree that service na tuka is tuka very mungu. important ni sana. service is very important Kuma, ni sana. there is a work that we are supposed to be doing Kuna kazi kuwa number two we said ya pili tuka sema, sonship is characterized by friendship wana katika uhusiano. while servant servanthood is characterized by fear for the master na utumwa ni Hallelujah. So in the kingdom, we do not have a, a, a master. Although Jesus Christ is our master, but he does not behave like masters. Because in the book of Romans chapter number Number eight, as you finish, the Bible says that Jesus Christ is our big brother. Amen. Amen. Yesu Amen. Now, that's why I want us to pick it from there. I want to say this. Sonship, wana, or rather, I begin by saying this. Sons wana, are chosen. Wana Servants watumwa, choose wana what to do and what not, what not to do. Kide watafanya ama kile hawatafanya. Sons wana, are slaves to the will of the father. Ni watumwa katika mapenzi ya ba. Amen. Amen. Sons wana, 
are chosen and if they are chosen then they are slaves to the will of the father can you give me John number 15 verse number 16 John 15 verse number 16 what does the bible say you have not chosen me but I have chosen you and I have appointed you and placed you purposely planted you so that you go and bear fruit and keep on bearing fruit Hallelujah. Amen. Amen so Jesus was saying this yes, you have not chosen me but I have chosen you so that you may go and bear fruit and not just bear fruit but keep on bearing fruit so there is one thing that you need to understand that God chose you even before you were formed in your mother's womb and there is one interesting thing in the stomach or maybe in the womb you were chosen but when you were born you were given a will so that you may choose so in that area many people have chosen not to become sons because of what they are doing because of the kind of life they are leading but today I have come to encourage somebody that you need to realize that God chose you you need to realize that God found you when you are lost in sin everybody knows about John 3.16 the Bible says and for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish if you believe in God you can never perish so God looked at mankind and he saw people that were bound to perish he decided to choose them he decided to go and find them through his son so you need to realize that it was not by your effort that you received this salvation and you say amen it is not by anything that you did the Bible says salvation is not by works. So you did not do anything to receive this grace. It is God who chose you. And I am praying for every chosen one here. May the Lord give you the grace to sustain you in salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's why in the book of Romans chapter number 8 verse number 29 let's go to verse number 29 this is what the bible says for those whom he born for a new he loved and chose beforehand he predestined and conformed them to the image of his son amen, amen. he's saying there are people Kunawatu. that he had a destiny for them in other words, before you were born, God had a master plan for your life. He chose you before. And the Bible says he conformed them to the image of the son. So when I look at you, I should see Jesus Christ in you. He conformed them to the image of the son. And the question is, the way you speak, can I spot Jesus in your speech? The question is, the way you walk, can I spot Jesus? Because if you are conformed, then you should be like the son. Say my man. Amen. Peter had walked with Jesus Christ until one time 
mpaka wakati moja a young girl is looking at peter mtu msichana anaangalia petro and she is telling G, uh, peter anamwambia you have been with jesus umekuwa na yesu and peter said i don't know that man petro akasema sijao sijui huyo mtu the girl looked at peter msichana akaangalia petro and she told peter anamwambia even the way you are walking hata vile unatembea you are walking like jesus unatembea kama yesu that is how to be conformed hivyo ndivyo ya kuiga You are conformed Un- to become like the sun. Unaiga mfano wa Kristo. The question is, swali ni, does do your neighbors have a testimony about you? Jirani zako wako na ushuhuda. Can they say you speak like Jesus? Wanaweza sema unaongea kama Yesu. Can they say you do business like Jesus? Wanaweza sema unafia bara kama Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The question that we should be asking ourselves. Swali ambalo tunafaa kujiuliza. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If Jesus was walking with me, kama Yesu alikuwa anatembea na mimi, could there be a difference? Ingekuwa na utofauti. Or people will say you are walking like him. Ama watu watasema unatembea namna gani? Amen. Amen. What would Jesus do? Yesu angefanya nini? There was a question we used to ask ourselves when we were in primary school. Kuna swali ambalo tulikuwa tunajiuliza tulikuwa primary. Ukikwazwa na mtu our teacher used to ask us what would jesus do yesu angefanya nini praise the lord hallelujah if your neighbor has a problem with you jirani yako akiwa na shida na wewe you ask yourself what would be jesus would jesus do yesu angefanya nini praise the lord bwana asifiwe so sons are chosen wana huchaguliwa but servants choose what to do lakini wana huchagua kile watafanya praise the lord bwana asifiwe when you look at people ukiangalia watu that has, have chosen the way that does not please the father wanaochagua njia isiyo pendeza although wana, they are in the church hata kama wako kanisani don't be worried they are not sons Usi they are servants wana, ni watumwa praise the lord amen so when you see me preaching ukiniona nikihubiri but my ways are not according to what i'm preaching lakini njia zangu haziandamani you need to realize i have come from being a son to a servant nataka ujue nimetoka kutoka mwana mpaka nikawa because i have chosen another way kwa sababu nimechagua njia nyingine praise the lord in the book of ephesians katika kitabu cha chapter number 1 verse number 4 wa efeso 1 ephesians 1:4 nataka twende kwa haraka give me the new living translation if you can please New Living Translation The New Living Translation Ephesians chapter number 1 verse number 4 and 5 The Bible says even before he made the world God loved us and chose us in Christ Mungu alitupenda na akatuchagua kwa Kristo to be holy and without fault in his eyes Tuwe watakatifu wenye wasio na hatia mbele ya macho yake Before he made the world Kabla ya kuumba ulimwengu He loved us first Alitupenda kwanza and he chose us na akatuchagua in Christ to be holy Tuwe watakatifu kwa Kristo Angalia mtu na umwambie we are called to be holy we are called to be holy hallelujah, hallelujah. and without fault na bila makosa in his eyes katika macho yake verse number 5 tano he says god decided in advance mungu akaamua kutoka mwanzo to adopt us into his own family kutuchukua tuwe wana katika jamii yake by bringing us to himself through jesus christ kwa kutuleta kwake kupitia yesu kristo this is what he wanted to do hii ndio alikuwa anataka kufanya and he gave him great pleasure it gave him great pleasure so it gave god great pleasure mungu sana to choose you to have you as his son kuwa kama mwana wewe so that you may be in his family ili uwe katika jamii yake i have come to tell you that it is a pleasure to be in the family of god kuwa katika jamii ya it is a privilege to be in the family of god ni nafasi kuu kuwa katika familia we have read in the book of luke tumesoma katika kitabu chapter number 15 15 and the bible says that there was a certain man who had two sons and one of the sons said to the father give me a share nipe sehemu yangu hallelujah hallelujah so initially the ma- the, the man the younger man was in the house huyu kijana alikuwa katika nyumba but he chose not to be a son anymore akachagua hata kuwa mwana tena praise the lord he chose akachagua 
But God had chosen him to be in that family. But him he chose to go away. And when he went away, what did he go to do? Alienda kufanya nini? Alienda kaponda kile ambacho kuwa nacho. After spending everything, he became a servant. He went to keep a, a, a pigs. Akaenda kuweka pigs. Guruwe. Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. I want you to look at this at it in this way. Nataka uiangalie namna hii. A man that was in his father's house. Mtu alikuwa katika nyumba ya baba yake. When he wanted anything, wakati alikuwa anataka kitu, he could get it. Anapata. When he wants butter, akitaka butter, he gets butter. Anapata. When he gets school fees, he wants school fees. Akitaka karo, he gets it. Anapata. And he decides. Na anaamua. He chooses to go away from the home. Anaamua kwenda kwa kutoka kwa baba. After some time the Bible records. Baada that he went to look for some job and he got a job to keep pigs it is a pity when you leave the father's house you no longer being called a son you will go and serve and there is no pay sema amen, amen. sema amen I have come to encourage sons today. Nimekuja kuhimiza wana leo. That God chose you. Ya kwamba Mungu alikuchagua. I say he chose you. Nasema alikuchagua. Maybe people have disregarded you. Pengine watu hawajakupatia. But God has chosen you. Lakini Mungu amekuchagua. Maybe people have pinned you down. Pengine watu wamkuweka chini. But God has chosen you. Lakini Mungu amekuchagua. And he has a plan for you. Na kuna mpango kwa Romans 8:29 amesema ya kwamba for them that he pre- Destined. You already had a destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this. In Matthew chapter number 22. Matthew 22 verse number 1. Matthew 22 New Living Translation if you can get it. New Living Translation. Jesus said Say what? Verse number two. The kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of a king who prepared a great wedding feast for his son. Ufalme wa binguni unaweza fananisho na mfalme mja alie fanya mwanawe harusi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesu wakapea na wano mwingini. Yesu wakia na muhano oge. Na kawambie ya kwamba ufalme wa mbingu. Uzamaki wa matuini. Unaweza ukafananisho na mfalme mmoja. No hana ni ambaye alitangeneza karamu ni kwa ajili ya nani because of his son may the king make a feast for you acha mungu itengeneze karamu kwa sababu yako haleluya i say may the king make a feast for you mfalme atengeneze karamu if you are a son in the kingdom you qualify for a feast you don't need a committee how it had committee amen the king did not call a committee mfalme hakuita committee to make a banquet for his son kutengenezea karamu mwanawe the son belonged in the family mwana alikuwa wa jamii hiyo and he qualified for the feast na akahitimika kwa karamu but something interesting happened kitu ikafanyika when the king prepared the banquet wakati mfalme alitengeneza karamu verse number 3 tatu the banquet was ready he sent his servants to notify those who were invited but they all refused to come Amen. Amen. Something happened. In that family, katika jamii hiyo, there were servants. Kulikuwa na mitume. Kazi yao waliambiwa endeni mkaite watu wa kwa karamu. Watumwa walienda enda muita watu wakuja kwa karamu. Usikubali kutumwa tumwa wakati kuna karamu. Ndugu yetikire kutumwa tumwa ile kule na idosi ya kule hiyo. Amen. Haleluya. Usikubali kutumwa tumwa. Ndugu yetikire kutumwa wakati kuna karamu wakati watu wana imba na wamezama katika uwepo wa bwana uko kwa whatsapp unatumwa tumwa you are becoming a servant we whatsapp sema amen amen you know the feast that we talking about is the presence of god karamu ambayo tunadana ni uwepo wa mungu Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We feast in the presence of God. When God 
God is in our midst our spirits are very excited and they have been fed Wakati Mungu ako miongoni mwetu roho zetu zinafurahia Hallelujah Hallelujah The Bible says and the servants were sent and they were told go and call people to the uh, to the feast Watumwa wakaambwa nenda mtafute watu wakuje katika kambi And the karamu. people refused Na watu wakakataa They had an option to choose Walikuwa na uchaguzi wa whether kufanya. to come or not Waje wasikuje They chose not to come Wakachagua kutokuja Hallelujah Hallelujah But God chose you Lakini Mungu alikuchagua Amen Hallelujah uh, We shall not read the entire parable because of time but the bible says when you you can look for me that scripture down there the bible says that after after the way these are uh, the king told the servants to go out and call anybody to come he called everybody anybody to come because the invited guests did not come kwa sababu waliowalikwa walikataa kukuja wale ambao walikuwa wamealikwa walikaa aliambia tatuone mara ile mfalme akasema enda mtamaki aliwa dhiita anybody that you see tell them to come ita mtu yeyote unaona mali na watu wakaitwa but the guests he had invited he got them and went uh, uh, their way uh, one to his farm another to his business wale walioitwa wakaenda katika shughuli zao which take us numbers 9 tisa number 9 tisa now go to the streets nenda katika njia to the corners and invite everyone you see katika njia panda na uite kila mtu verse number 10 the bible says kumi nasema so the servants brought in everyone whom they could find watumwa wakamletea wote ambao walipata good and bad alike wazuri na wabaya and the banquet all was filled with guests na karamu ikajaa nataka tuendalishe pamoja the bible says and the uh, the banquet hall was filled with guests na nyumba ikajaa wageni the way we are filled in this church where we feast in the presence of god mahali tunakula katika uwepo wa mungu but the warring part is lakini kitu ya kushangaza ni the good and the bad were side wazuri na wabaya walikuwa ndani praise the lord remember it is a feast that belongs to the sun ni karamu ya mwana the next verse the bible says yule inasema verse number 11 11 but when when the king came to meet the guest wakati mfalme alikuja kuona wageni he noticed a man who wasn't wearing the proper clothes for the wedding kaona mtu hana mavazi ya harusi hallelujah hallelujah when the king came wakati mfalme alikuja akaona mtu ambaye aabudu wengine wakiabudu akiona mudu uta raho yake makoa akamuuliza akimuulia yani ujui watu wakiingia hapa wanafanyanga nini do ya domo kaka huku niatia meka watu walikuwa na mavazi ya harusi adumana na guo shio hiki lakini kuna mmoja alikuwa ndani no hali na mudu the ine bila mavazi atali na guo kwa hivyo usidanganyike na kuwa kanisani wewe usidanganyike kuwa na uh, unatoa uh, tithe yako vizuri usidanganyike kuwa katika vitabu vya kanisa you can be inside but without the garment unaweza kuwa ndani lakini hakuna you can be inside you are serving but you are not going to get the reward unaweza kuwa ndani unatumika lakini hakuna the bible says that there was a man that was inside the banquet all biblia inasema kuna mtu alikuwa katika nyumba in the feast of the sun katika karamu ya mwana but he did not have the garment lakini hakuwa na nguo brethren This man was invited. Huyu mtu aliitwa. But he chose not to wear the garment. Lakini akaamua kutovaa mabati. Because I'm sure when they were being invited. Kwa sababu najua wakati waliitwa. Hata kuna uwezekano zilikuwa zinapeanwa bure. No koma ya goguo tu. Amen. Amen. Na sijui walipatikana wakati gani. Sijui kama walikuwa wanapanga line ya chakula. Sijui kana mara kana ya ilio. Ama walikuwa wameketi saa ya mogidhi. Kana higo ya mogidhi. Lakini wakati mfalme aliingia. None ya mudha makegirile. Akaona huyu kiono huyu akamuuliza dugu dugu hebu kuja toka liingia aje huko kuigiria tia huko amen amen kwa hivyo unaweza kuwa kanisani no koroka ni dhaini wengine wakiruka unaruka ado ado makiruka wengine wakiimba unaimba ado makinoka wakitoa unatoa makiruta wakaruta haleluya haleluya wakifia unafagia ma hata ukahata lakini wewe no we unafanana na yule mwenda wazimu niliwaambia siku ya jumapili hana mgorukira na mulile sana alikuwa anafagia asubuhi mpaka jioni ah nataka kuma kiroko kinyahua hivi lakini wafanyikazi wa county wakienda kulipwa yeye hakuna mtu alikuwa anamlipa no asio magidi kuliwa wadali hago praise the lord hallelujah unaweza fanya kazi kubwa bila malipo no utaweda munene 
Say I refuse. I refuse. Sema ninakata. Nimekata. Kufanya kazi bila malipo. Kufanya kazi bila malipo. Praise the Lord. Amen. Nilikuwa nasema hivi, oh. wana wamechaguliwa. But servants will choose. Lakini watumishi huchagua. Wako na mawazo yao. Mimi na meheshiria mao. Wakufikiria naweza inge. Huyu huyu mtu alikuwa na ile inaitangwa don't care attitude. Alina ile inaita go don't care attitude. Kwani wataniambia nini? Makoje, makoje, Kama vile kari. tunaambiwa tu register simu. Kuna watu wanasema wa register. <laughs> Ando maneno mako kama di register. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Huyu mtu Modoyo alisema nitaingia. Watafanya nini? Mako ikati ya. Hivyo ndivyo Wakristo wengi wako. Huko ni Wakristo wengi mali. Wako kanisani. Meka ni nine. Wanafanya kila kitu ambacho kinafanywa. Meka maudu mothe maneko. Wengine ukumbuki ulipeana maisha yako kwa Kristo wakati gani. Na kana maya ni mtu ndio wako kwa Yesu. Ama huyu mtu labda aliona wengine wakienda akawa fuata kana akiona ndo magidhina akia kimarumiri bila wengine wetu tulikuja kanisa na wazazi wetu otoleedi utokile na shirigia doa muwe haleluya haleluya huyu mtu labda aliona wameito na nime atuo lakini ya kusikia mwenye alikuwa na itana alisema nini no dadiki lio kuga kwa augiri yata asema tuende tukidhie na wakaingia magikuigira they don't care attitude in a christian roho ya kutojali will cost you your inheritance itachukua urithi wako will cost you your inheritance itakuchukulia urithi wako Praise the Lord. There is a scripture that uh, dad has read this morning. Kuna neno baba amesoma asubuhi. In the book of 1 Peter chapter number 2 verse number 9. Petro wa kwanza 2:9. 1 Peter chapter number 2 verse number 9. Petro wa kwanza mlango wa pili aya 9. This scripture was encouraging me. Hili neno lilikuwa linanitia nguvu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you are not not like that lakini nyinyi sio namna for you are a chosen people kwa manyinyi ni uzao sons are chosen wana wamechaguliwa you are a chosen people say i am chosen i am chosen you are a royal priesthood hallelujah hallelujah a holy nation god on possession watu wa mungu amen amen sema mimi ni mali ya mungu mimi ni mali ya mungu he says i uh, that you are a holy nation god's very on possession wa mali ya mungu wana ni mali ya mungu shena ni ugawagai haleluya haleluya na vile unatunza mali yako hivyo ndivyo Mungu atakutunza. Haleluya. Na unanga mtu akiwa na gari akiona imefanyika kitu anashughulikia. So uh, this morning I want to tell you that you are a project of the Father. He cannot allow his project to go. You are his own possession. Wewe ni mali yake. He has every detail of your life. Ako na mambo yako yote. Sema amen. Amen. Kwa hivyo ulichaguliwa bila certificate. Without any credential. Bila certificate. He chose you. Akakuchagua. Sons are chosen. Wana wanachagua. So wacha kujihurumia mahali umezaliwa mpendwa. Tia kuigwira dhahari. Wacha kujihurumia ile shule ulienda. Tia kuigwira dhahari. Wacha kujihurumia ni nini umekuwa ukipitia. Tia kuigwira dhahari kule wao. It is God who chose you. Ni Mungu alikuchagua. Na maandiko inasema ya kwamba anajua kesho yako. Na maandiko maoga ni waheshimu wako. Praise the Lord. Amen. So when we are called we are chosen. Wakati tunaitwa tunakuja. You know the Bible says. Biblia inasema that many are but few you are chosen lakini chache wamegua praise the lord amen ukituona hapa sisi wote tumeitwa ukituona hivi dhaa ni tuwe tu kila mtu hapa alisikia mungu labda alisikia kwa radio kuna mungu kwa modo yule radio ni kwa gai ndio maana unaendanga kanisani andikia kanisa many are called wengi wameitwa but few lakini wachache are chosen wamechaguliwa in the banquet of the sun katika karamu ya mwana many were called wengine waliitwa haleluya but few are chosen lakini wachache wamechaguliwa praise the lord wana asifiwe you know i love something about jesus napenda kitu kuhusu yesu he told the disciples akaambia wanafunzi follow me nifute and i will make you na nitawafanya following is not enough kufuata haitoshi there is a place of making kuna mahali pa kutengeneza many are followers wengine wa wanafuata tu but they have not graduated to the place of La, being made lakini hawajahitimika mahali pa kutengeneza kwa hivyo peter anaitwa petro wagetuo anaambiwa na yesu nifuate nitakufanya akirudi yesu numera nego gotua I want to make you a son. Nataka 
kukufanya mwana I know you are a fisherman Najua wewe unatega samaki I am calling you out of fishing Nakuita kutoka kutega samaki I want to make you a son Nataka kukufanya mwana Praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe And that takes me to another point Na hiyo inanipeleka katika point nyingine Sons wana are dependent Wanategemea Yes that's the word Hallelujah Servants are independent. Na mitu, uh, watuma hawategemei. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sons wana are dependent. Kutegemea. Totally. Kutegemea kabisa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you look at a son in the kingdom, ukiangalia mwana katika ufalme, they don't have anything that they can give credit to themselves. Hawana kitu unafikiria ni wao. They say it is all by the power of God. Wanasema ni nguvu za Mungu. Our wezi, wana wanasema, I cannot by myself. I pray for you. Na kuombea. I pray for you. Na kuombea. May the Lord help you to depend on him completely. Ya kwamba utegemee Mungu kabisa. There are people that do not depend on God Kuna although wa, they believe. Kuna watu wanategemei Mungu katika mambo yao. They do not depend on God. Hawategemei Mungu even before they start a project. Hata wakianza mradi, they will go back fast to their account. Wataenda kwa account kwanza. And they will confirm whether this uh, this project will make it. Na wataona kama hii mradi itaendelea. Because they are independent. Kwa sababu hawana roho ya kutegemea. But when you are a son, lakini ukiwa mwana, you will totally de- depend on your father utategemea baba yako kabisa may you receive that spirit in jesus name pokea hiyo roho katika jina la yesu hallelujah hallelujah in the book of john 5 verse number 19 ah uh, yohana 5:19 john 5:19 what does the bible says yohana 5:19 so jesus explained i tell you the truth the son can do nothing by himself he does only what he sees his father doing Whatever the father does the son also does. Amen. Amen. This is Jesus speaking. And he is saying, anasema, I tell you the truth. Ukweli, the son can do nothing by himself. Kitu, the son can do nothing by himself. I yake. submit to you my brethren that you can do nothing by yourself. Na na hayo, ya you need to totally yake. depend on God. When you involve God in that project it will not fail. Mungu when you involve wa God in that family it will not fail when you become totally dependent on god then you are a true son how i pray that in this church there will emerge true sons that will totally depend on the power of the holy spirit Spirit. It will totally depend on the Father in heaven. Because when you totally depend on God, there will be less victims. You shall not be a failure in this life if you totally depend on God. I pray that there shall emerge another breed of sons. There shall emerge another breed of sons that will totally de- depend on God. Oh, you will not depend on your wisdom. You will not depend on your certificate. You will not depend on your uh, certificate or, or your experience. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So sons are totally Wana dependent. Wanategemea kabisa. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John in the book of Luke chapter number 5. Uh, kitabu cha Luka mlango wa 5. We meet Peter. Tunakutana na Petro in the fishing ground. Mahali anatega samaki. Peter Petro has been toiling all night. Amejaribu usiku wote so that he can get fish. Ili apate samaki. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. In the book of Luke 5. Uh, Luka mlango wa tano. Give me verse number 6. Ipe sita. Verse number 6. Sita. The Bible says and this time the net were full of fish. Uh, give me verse number 5. Tano. Kwanza. Master Simon replied, Simon yakajibu. We have worked all uh, uh, we have worked hard all the last night and didn't catch a thing, but if you say so, 
I will let the net down again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Peter wamekuwa wakivua. And Jesus comes at morning in the morning. And he finds the people they have they have nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The whole night they were depending on their experience. I can see them saying that we have fished in this same uh, a river or lake for many years. And that is the language of servants in the kingdom. We have been here for long. Praise the Lord. We know how to do things. They become independent. Praise the Lord. You don't you no longer seek the guidance of God. When you get to that point, you know you have shifted from being a son to a servant. So Peter was there. He said, we have been here all night. And we have got nothing. Tumetumia trolling. Tumetumia ile method ingine tulisoma kwa. Amen. Ilikuwa inaitwa GHC. GHC. What was social studies? Yelewa GHC. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Peter was saying that we have been here. Tumekuwa hapa na tumejaribu kila aina lakini hatujapata kitu. Jesus there to teach him dependence. Yesu alikuwa hapo anawafundisha kutegemea. Yesu alikuja asubuhi ili akaweze kumfunza kumtegemea Mungu. Alimwambia hatutabadilisha the shore. We are not going to change the lake. We are not going to change the nets. In the very position where you have been fishing. Drop your nets. And they caught a great catch. Hallelujah. Verse number 6 amesema nini? And this time their nets were full of fish. And they began to tear. The same lake. Hallelujah. The same lake. Uh, hiyo hiyo. The same position. Pale pale. The same nets. Zile tu. But there was fish enough to tear the nets. Kukawa na samaki za Total dependence in God. Mugu when you become a son. Ukiwa mwana, you will say. Utasema, by your word. Kwa neno lako, you will believe the word of God. Neno la mungu. You know when you become a son. Ukiwa mwana, you will not have a problem believing in the word of the father. Hauta kuwa na shida kuwa neno la so mungu. when he says you are not a borrower. You are a lender. Akisema, Utakopa, utakopa. You say I live in the word of the master. Unasema, na amini, jina la mungu. When he says you are not the tail but you are the head. Akisema, wa si mkia, wa you believe in the word of the master. Amini, neno, la buwana, when he says that I will increase you. Akisema, you believe I will be increased. Utamini, when he says I am your healer. Akisema, amini, mponyaji, you wako. believe in the word of the master. Amini, neno, la buwana, May the Lord lift people that are ready to depend on him totally. May the Lord increase your faith as a son in the kingdom that you will totally depend on the father. Jesus said the son can do nothing by himself. Whatever he sees the, the father the, the, the son does. Can I submit to you? The Bible says that as he is Kama vile alivyo in heavens ako binguni so are we here na sisi tuko hapa haleluya haleluya kama akiwa ameketi katika mkono wa kuume wa baba sio mgonjwa aikoro egwa ko ine kuagaitimu unasema nitakana neno la bwana i refuse to be sick nimekataa kuwa mgonjwa praise the lord bwana asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe because he says so as he Yes, so are we here. Kama vile alivyo divyo tulivyo. Unasema kama ajapungukiwa akiwa ameketi katika mkono kuume wa baba. I called any hero I walk in the Unasema ninakataa kupungukiwa hapa duniani. Because I am your son. Come on somebody I pray for you. Ninakuombea that God will help you. Mungu atakusaidia. Can you say I refuse to be a, a broke son of a rich father? 
I refuse to be a broke son of a rich father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni makosa sana. Ni hatia ni ni urumuno. Our father is rich. Baba yetu ni tajiri. Na tunaendelea kujisukumilia pale. Na nitwadi na bena kuhinyiriria. Na tunakatalia pale. Na tukarekera hao. Tunakataa kuamini. Tukareka kuitekia. May the Lord help us. Mungu atusaidie. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I I'm moving very fast in the interest of time. Ninaenda haraka kwa sababu ya Sons are out to advance the the the, the, the agenda of the father. Wana wanapanua maelekeo ya ufalme. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sons advance the agenda of the father. Wana hupanua malengo ya ufalme. But servants advance the agenda of the institution. Lakini watumwa hueneza mambo ya idara. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The agenda of the father makusudio ya baba and the agenda of the institution na makusudio ya mahali yameajiriwa that where priority comes hapo dipo kipaumbele kinatoka praise the lord bwana asifiwe if the agenda of the father kama malengo ya baba is not met by you haijaftimizwa na wewe don't go out to meet the agenda of the institution usiende hapo kufanya malengo ya mahali umeajiriwa whether it is where you work kama ni mahali unafanya kazi whether it is here in church ama ni hapa kanisani whether it is in that college or that university that school kama ni hiyo shule make sure that first hakikisha kwamba the agenda of the father uh, makusudio ya baba is advanced by you Unai, unaifanya iendelee praise the lord amen the agenda of the father malengo ya baba hallelujah hallelujah nataka kwenda kwa haraka nataka Sons abide wana hudumu but servants as a Jonas lakini watumwa ni wageni wapitaji wapitaji praise the lord hallelujah the bible says in john chapter number 8 verse number 35 eh uh, yohana 8:35 hallelujah. hallelujah john 8 verse number 35 yohana 8 a slave is not a permanent member of the family. Mtumwa habaki katika familia. But a son is part of the family forever. Mwana ni wa jamii hiyo milele. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mwanani agoshwa. Biblia inasema ya kwamba mtumwa mtumwa. Hallelujah. Robo. Is not is not a member of that family forever. Hakai katika jamii milele. Amen. Amen. But a son lakini mwana is part of the family forever milele praise the lord so i'm saying sons wana. abide wana hudumu but servants as a donors lakini mitu, uh, watumwa ni wapitaji praise the lord wana so when you leave ukitoka church kanisa because ulikosolewa odukuri veliruone we here Unaenda kanisa ingine. You don't become a son by by transiting from one church to another. Haukui mwana kwa sababu ya kuhama kanisa. You don't become better son. Haui mwana bora. You still continue to serve. Unaendelea kutumika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says. Ndio Biblia inasema. A slave is not a permanent member of the family. Watumwa hawawezi wakabaki milele katika jamii. I pray that God will help you. Naomba Mungu akusaidie to stay in the place where you will stay with the will of the Father. Mahali utasikia mapenzi ya Mungu. In uh, Luke 15 where we read, Luka 15 mahali tulisoma, Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. The son left his home. Mwana akatoka kwa jamii. And at that moment he ceased to be a son. Na kutoka hapo akakosa mwana. Na akaenda. Na agedhie. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The Bible says until he came back to his senses. Mpaka akajirudia mawazo. Kwa wakati alitoka mawazo ilipotea. Ndio adhi ile meshi ile maadhi ile. Na akajisahau. Na akiliganero. Akasahau yeye ni mwana. Akiliganero yeye ni mwana. Akasahau baba yake yako na mali. Akiliganero ile na otoa. Akasahau baba yake yako na kila kitu anahitaji. Na kaenda kulisha nguruwe. But when he came back to his senses. The Bible says. Immediately. Mahara moja. Kuna vitu mbili aliona. Kuna mambo haya mawili. Aliona wafanyikazi. Akiona rutia wewe. Can we go to uh, that scripture Luke 15? Twende hapo Luka 15. Verse number 13. Not, not 13 but 17. 17. A 17. But when he finally came to his senses. Alipozigatia moyoni mwake. He said. Akasema. How many of my give me the new living translation please. Utanipa 
NLT. I'm almost finishing. When he finally came back to his senses, he said to himself, At home, even the hired servants have food enough to spare. In other words, he's saying, The servants are better than me. I am below a servant. Because I am away from the Father. When you are away from the Father, you become a servant and you live like a slave. I pray that the Lord will bring you back to him. Praise the Lord. And here I am dying of hunger. Verse number 18 he says, I will go home and say to my father, I have sinned against uh, both heaven and you. 19, let's go there. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Mimi si pasu ikuitu wa mwana. Hata yeye anajua yeye sio mwana. Unakinana mnyewe mwana. Anajua vile niko. I don't deserve to be a son. Some of you, you are seated here. You already know the way I've been walking. I am not a son. May the Lord help you. Praise the Lord. Please take me as a hired servant. Take me as a hired servant. I servants will never have an inheritance. Praise the Lord. Verse number 20. The Bible says, so he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son. The father calls him a son. Because he has dared to come back. He has made a decision to come back. But as long as he was there, the father did not do anything. But as long as he has made his way coming back, the father notices his son. Praise the Lord. How I pray that many will come back to their senses. And the father will notice you. And will call you a son once again. He ran to his son and embraced him and kissed him. Verse 21-20. His son said to him, Father, I have seen that both heaven and you. And I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Twendele. But his father said to the servants, Sema ni nakata kutumwa tumwa. Hallelujah. Baba akasema, Bring me the finest robe in the house and put it on him. The ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. Verse 23 and kill the calf. We have been flat, uh, fattening. Ah. Kill the calf. We have been fattening. The father is busy fattening a cow for a son. That is far away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We must celebrate with a feast. Because the son is back. Verse number 24. For this son of mine was dead. And he has now Return to life. He was lost. But now he is found. And the party began. Wacha leo kukaanze karamu katika maisha. I'm saying may, they, may there be a feast today. Praise God. Tuendele. Mandiko inasema hivi. I want to show another, 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 another person here. Meanwhile. Ambia mtu meanwhile. Meanwhile. The older son was in the fields working. Yule mwana mkubwa alikuwa kwa shamba anafanya kazi. The older son. Yule mwana mkubwa. I refuse to be an older son. <laughs> when he returned home, wakati alirudi, he heard music and dancing in the house. Akasikia nyimbo. Verse number 26. 26. And he asked one of the servants who 
what was going on. Akauliza mtumishi kwaendelea nini hapa? 27. Your brother is back. Ndugu yako amekuja. He was told and your father has killed the fattened calf. Na baba yako amechimba chinja dama. We are celebrating because of his safe return. Tunasherekea kwa sababu amerudi. Verse 28. The older brother was angry. Ndugu mkubwa akakasirika. Wewe unakasiriganga kwa nini ukiona watu wengine wakibarikiwa, wakitumiwa na Mungu? Unakaraganiki wewe unataka. Ebuuliza mtu unakasiriganga kwa nini? Unakaraganiki. Sababu wewe ni ndugu mkubwa. Todo wewe mnena nene. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And 29. Nataka kumalizia haraka. 20. But he replied. Akajibu. Look at this now. Tutole <laughs> ha. All these years I have done what? I've slaved. I have slaved. Nimetumika for you. Kwako. I never once refused to do a single thing. Nasijawahi kataa kufanya jambo hata moja. In all that time you never gave me even a young goat. Na hata hiyo miaka haujai chija hata mbuzi. For a feast with my friends. Look at it. Angalia. He was in father's home. Alikuwa kwa baba yake. But he said I have been a slave. Amekuwa nimekuwa mtumwa hapa. I have slaved here. Nimekuwa mtumwa hapa. Oh this time. Miaka hii yote. I have been slaving here. Nimekuwa mtumwa hapa. Ukinituma ninaenda. Bado hagadhi. Ukitaka nini ninafanya? Weda ageka. I have been a slave in our house. Mtumwa hapa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One thing that he did not realize. Kitu hakujua. He needed to be a son. Alikuwa hahitaji kuwa mwana. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He needed to be a son. Alihitajika kuwa mwana. Aelewe ya kwamba hizo vitu zote ziko hapo ni zake. Amenyema idoshisho the nishi yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unajua ukiwa mtumwa unafungwa macho. Ule mtu mwamudu wa higa kwa maithi. Ule go. Unajua wakati nilikuwa mdogo. Yada ni mwini ni. Mama yangu wakipika chapati. Mami ya kitu kwa shavashi. Ilikuwa kazi ngumu kupata chapati. Lazima ungelala mbupewe. Usi wende kulala kama ujapewe. Praise the Lord. Otherwise chapati hairuhusiwi kupewa mtu kama hajapikwa zo. Lazima zipikwa zote ni upate. Lakini saa hii nikienda nichukue moja. Ada ada furahia. No akene. At least amechukua moja. Because he's proud. Kwa sababu anafurahia. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sababu najua ni zetu zinapikwa. Ni shida ila huo. Kwa hivyo kukula mapema hakuna shida. Amen. Amen. Huyu mwana mdogo the younger son alikuwa na ufunuo. Ni vile alitumia vibaya. Nikutumia alitumia vibaya. Alienda kwa babake akamwambia ni pe zangu mapema ni mapema. Taidoshia kwa tena waatene. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na babake akampea. Na idea kimune. Sababu zilikuwa zake. Kodonishi yake. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The older son was still there. Yule mzee alikuwa pale. Akuitisha kitu. Yetiri yake. Akupewa kitu. He is saying I have slain here for long. Na nimesema mimi nimekuwa mtumwa. I want you to gain boldness as you go before your father. Nataka upate ujasiri. And you claim your inheritance. Na utangaze ujasiri. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You need to understand that Sons are for inheritance. Servants are for us. Wana, wana urithi. Lakini watumo wanalipo. Wages ni hile unakula leo kesho. Wana kitu unaenda kutata. Mushara ni hile unakashon. Tusome that 8 and some kwa amplified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you things. Na wambia hii. Things that I have seen at my father's side. Ya kwa baba nina nimeona yale ya mefanyo na baba ya. In his presence. Katika po wake. So you also do the things that you have heard from your father. Dio ufanya yale maneno umesikia. Ana wambia kile ambacho mlisikia kutoka kwa baba ya. Kile mwiku kwete kwe fafa wakua. Nini muna ukufanya. No mwike. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Buwana Yesu asifiwe. Mwadhani ya gosho. Nasema ata wewe unaweza kufanya. Unaweno wike. Hallelujah. John 16:15 niruhusu tu nisome hii mstari miwili John 16:15 Yohana 16:16 kumina, kumina All things that are uh, that the father has are mine uh, kila chote ambacho ni chabu changu Tulikubaliana sisi na Yesu ni madugu si ni kweli Na hivyo ndivyo 
kwa Biblia inasema he is our big brother yeye ni ndugu wetu mkubwa kwa hivyo anasema hivi all things that the father has are mine vitu vyote vya baba ni vyangu because of this i said that he the spirit will take from uh, what is mine and will reveal it to you na basi roho atachukua kile kilicho ndani yangu na atawafanya mfunuliwe you have authority muko na mamlaka that which is of the father kile ni cha baba belongs to you ni tako praise be to the father amen hallelujah amen you have authority uko na mamlaka as a son kama mwana in the kingdom katika ufalme I want to finish by saying this. Nataka kumaliza kwa kusema hii. When you are a son, ukiwa mwana, you will know your father. Utajua baba yako. But when you are a servant, you will know your master. Lakini ukiwa mtumwa utajua bwana mkubwa wako. Master anaweza kukupea instructions as ingine. You you are not in terms. Amusikizani. But, but in God we find a father. Lakini katika Mungu tunapata uh, I pray mungu. that you shall get a father. Naomba Mungu akupee baba. You shall find God as your father. Utapata Mungu kama baba. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. And when you see him as your father, na ukimuona kama baba, you will be a blessed person. Utakuwa mtu umebarikiwa. You will carry the blessings of the father. Utabeba baraka ya baba. You will carry the inheritance of the father. Utabeba urithi wa baba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know sons wana what more of the presence wao wanaangalia sana uwepo but servants lakini watumwa wants the presence hallelujah zawadi zawadi nasema hivi ndugu oh sons are for the presence wana hutafuta uwepo but servants lakini watumwa they want the present wanataka zawadi from the father kutoka kwa baba praise the lord wana asifiwe I want you to change the priorities. Nataka ubadilishe kipaumbele. Because in the presence of God, kwa sababu katika uwepo wa Mungu, you will get your word. Utapata baraka yako. You will get that presence. Utapata hiyo baraka. Seek the presence first. Tafuta uwepo kwanza when you are a son. Ukiwa mwana. Simama kwa miguu yako. Ukamana maguru yako. And because we have so many things today. Na kwa sababu tuna mambo mengi sana. That is still to be done. I want to op- you to open your mouth for one minute. Nataka ufungue mdomo wako dakika moja. Na ufanye a very simple prayer. Na hoa hivyo hoya nini? With me. Eh nani? Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Help me. Help me. Today. Today. I have learned. I have learned. And I have heard. And I have heard from you. From you. Help me. Help me. To be a son. To be a son. Reveal unto me. Reveal unto me that which that which I need to do. I need to do to be a true son. To be a true son. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Of the Son. Of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. We pray and believe. Amen. Please. Amen. Nisaidie kuleta adat. Amen. Amen.